To be honest with you, I haven't seen much of my brassicas this year. As you may know, I try to cover the whole area in which I grow the cabbages and the kale with a thin net. And that is to prevent attacks and damages caused by butterflies and flies and moths. And you may know that those things, they lay their eggs on top of the leaves or into the ground just around the roots. And the eggs will develop to caterpillars and they will cause huge damages to the brassica plants. And I try to prevent that by simply cover the whole area with a net. But a couple of days ago, I had a few friends over and I wanted uh, to show them how beautiful the brassica area looks uh, this year. So I removed the net. So today I'd like to show you as well before I put the net on top of the plants again. Right now I have four beds here. They are slightly raised and they are mulched with sheep's wool. I started doing this sheep wool thing already last fall as a preparation for this season. And uh, we started this season with uh, pretty much no rain <laughs> for a couple of weeks. And this mulching technique that I use in, in all my vegetable garden, I think was especially good in this area because you may notice that brassicas are huge plants most of the time and they need quite a moist soil to grow well. And by mulching the soil and also to put this, um, soaker holes underneath the mulch, I could provide the plants with all kind of things they need. And now I see the results because they really thrive in here. And I have made the planting with some kind of structure in mind. In this bed, I have uh, an early variety of broccoli along with kale. And this is the low variety dwarf green curl that I, I, I simply adore it. It's, it's uh, beautiful and it's very easy to grow as well because the plants don't get that tall. So they are easy to protect from like deers and rabbits and things like that, that will come into my garden in fall time. And uh, in the other bed, just beside, I have early cabbages with pointed heads and like normal cabbages that will give me an early harvest and uh, also some kale. In the third bed, I have the late varieties of uh, cabbages, savoy cabbages and um, like white cabbages and red cabbages and also a few plants with um, kale. And in this fourth bed, I have the Brussels sprouts and the tall plants of um, kale. And this one is a uh, very dear friend to me and this is a variety that's called broccoli and it is actually a mix between broccoli and kale. If you have not heard of it before or tried it, I would definitely give it a try. This is like the most perfect combination you can ever get in your garden since it's a mix. So you get the tasty nice leaves and you will get super tasty broccoli sprouts all fall long. I didn't have as much time as I was hoping this uh, season to be out in my garden. I have made my best but I didn't make it the whole way I think. I could have done better protecting the the plants and um, maybe watering when it was very dry 
But now in late August, watching this place, I think I have to to well to 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 give myself some credit. I did a good job and this area looks absolutely amazing and it will definitely give my family a lot of food in quite a while. My guess is that we will have some trouble to eat all the kale for example, but what I do is that I um I bring some of the plants with roots and everything into the greenhouse and I transplant it later on in fall so that I can harvest also when it's very cold outside and even snow and well you know the the kale is very hardy so it will stand a winter also here in Sweden. Thank you all for watching and hope you like my brassica area this year and if you don't do it already please subscribe my channel Sarah's Kitchen Garden at YouTube. See you in a while.